Is that part of your um, philosophy or concept when you're communicating with your client to make sure it's just bottom line and understandable? Yeah, it is. You know, I have friends that, uh, attorneys that I know that purposely talk over their client's head uh -huh. so their clients won't ask them hard questions. Right. Um, you know, we feel like honesty is the best policy. Um, you know, I, I've uh, purposed and my staff has purposed to talk in a way that our clients understand what's going on, they're fully informed. We don't want to make the decision for the client, we want them to make an informed decision. So we try to talk and make sure they understand everything so that they can make an informed decision. Uh, because they're bearing the risk, you know, it's their house, um, they need to feel like they've done all they can to save it, and so we want them to make that decision, you know, uh, understanding what's going on. Um, I don't mean to belabor the point, but I just think it's a vital point that when you do do free consultations, that right there is a rapport builder. Not only are they finding out what their fiscal health is like, they're also getting a chance to find out how much you care. There's that old saying, I don't care how much you know, so I know how much you care. And if you're giving me a free consultation, I think you care. If you're looking and diagnosing my situation, I think you care. And that kind of thing kind of gets the ball moving in a, in a positive realm. Do you kind of get that vibe or sensation when you're kind of showing somebody where they're at and you're not straight in their pocketbook? They're like, oh, okay, well, I appreciate that. Um, I'll get back to you. How does that interaction work out? No, I, th I think you've hit the nail right on the head. I mean, a lot of these loan modification companies, A, they're not attorneys. Um, uh, B, they're typically uh, the uh, you know, real estate brokers who, who caused this mess in the first place. And uh, C, a lot of times you just call up over the phone. You can't actually meet with a person who's supposed to help you. They want to, uh, uh, you know, you to give them a credit card number over the phone and they're right. just going to sign you up. So for us, we felt like we wanted the client to come in. They typically meet uh, with multiple members of our staff. Uh, they get to see, you know, where we're located. We're in downtown Modesto, so they get to know, hey, we're real people. Uh, you know, we've been work, we've been working in this valley for many years. That's what I was going to say. You know, we're not we're not going away anytime soon, right? Well, let's do this. Um, I want to have you come back many times in the future because the information that you're um, inseminating out to the public, you know, a lot of people aren't aware of it. They've heard of it. They've got the gist of it, but they haven't had the actual conversation to see more of it. So maybe sometime um, next month or the following month, we'll get you to come out again and, and share some more information. So I want to thank you for being here. We're going to relax for a little bit. We're going to.